In a world where runners have lost hope of ever racing again, two heroes have emerged with a pretty cool idea. Let's train for six for weeks six and weeks. then do a 5K time trial on October 17th. I'll try to run a 1959. And I'll try to run a 1759. The day has finally arrived. The sun is up. The air is getting warm. And there's the man of the hour. The first man to take a shot at a sub 20. There we go. Good morning. Here we are, race day. Feeling uh, some anxiety, some nerves, um, but we're gonna see how it goes. We're gonna get everything we have. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we're gunning for that 1959. Um, maybe uh, you know, if, if we can't get there, hopefully we'll get a PR. So we'll give it everything we have. And just remind everybody, uh, what is your current 5K PR, Michael? Current 5K PR is 20 minutes 53 seconds. Rock on. So anything 2052 or better is a good day for us. <laughs> yep. Everybody, this may be an awkward move here. I've got the GoPro on a selfie stick. How's it going? I am on my bike. I'm going to be uh, chasing Michael and getting the whole thing on film for all of you. 12 and a half laps. Here's our surroundings. It's getting warm fast. Michael's gonna do his race, then a few minutes later, I'll follow up with mine. Three, two, one, go. One lap down. It's two laps down. We're half a mile into the Odyssey. Looking good. Form's starting to loosen up now. I mean that in a good way. <laughs> starting to look natural would be a better way to say that. Sixteen hundred meters, four laps complete.
That's six laps down. We're almost halfway. This is a halfway point right here. Let's bring it home. Lap seven down. As a reminder, everyone, this is a 12 and a half lap time trial to reach five kilometers, 3.1 miles. I'm following. Michael will be the one who reveals his time after he crosses that finish line. <laughs> Migrating geese have come to uh, cheer Michael on. Keep it up, brother. It's supposed to get tough here, remember that. Just hold on. Remember, you worked hard for this pain. This is what we've been working for. Pain is temporary, Pratt is forever. And don't forget all the people who are watching this cheering you on right now. We've got a big crowd behind us. That's 10 laps down. We're down to the last two and a half now. Think of how long we've been waiting for this cold weather to come. We finally got what we need right on the day. It has not been this cold yet since last spring. We got a gift today, so let's take advantage of it. Looking good, your form is looking good. You're running tall, you got your forward lean. You're making all the right moves. Let's just finish it up. Nice job, Michael. That's 11 complete. This is it, your last 400 meters. One lap to go. If there's anything left, now's the time to spend it. Looking good, brother. <clears throat> Keep that head up. As soon as you get around this corner, it's the sprint for the final finish. As a reminder, Michael, you're the timekeeper. So make sure you stop your watch when you cross that line. Here it comes. The big finish, everyone. This is it. He's grinding away. He's pushing hard. And here comes the finish line. This is it. And done. There's the man of the hour. How you feeling? <laughs> That's a good thing. We're slow, Paul. We're slow. 
How'd 20, you do? 21.25. 21.25? It's a good effort, brother. It was a strong effort. Oh, yeah. That's all I had. That's all you can ask. It was a good job. We got a nice record of it. Yeah. Be proud. That's a good time. All right, folks. I'm going to turn this one off for now. <coughs> Michael, good job. A lot of people are very proud of what you just did. Thank you. Here we are at the starting line, waiting on Paul to get ready. It's very exciting times. A couple other people out here on the track, they're not going to know what hit him. It's going to be flames coming off of Paul's feet as he passes everyone out here. It's going to be a good time. All right, folks. I'm wearing nothing. Anything I can do to try to stay cool during this thing. A little chilly out. 45 degrees. Is it really? Yeah. I don't feel like it. <clears throat> perfect temps, perfect temps. I don't know what to tell you folks. See what happens. <laughs> Alright. Three, two, one. Go. He's flying. He's left me in the dust and I'm on a bicycle. Looking good. <clears throat> I feel like you're flying, but one lap down. Looking strong. Two laps down. Looking strong. You're holding about 9.6 miles an hour. Four laps, looking at a mile. Looking good. <clears throat> Eight laps in, four and a half more. You got this. A little over a mile. Ten laps in, two and a half more, a little over half a mile. You got this.
strong. Looking fast. <clears throat> Push, this is the last stretch. You got it. Come on. Woo! Yes, sir. Holy, <laughs> holy moly. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> what you got there? 1733. Woo! Dear Lord. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I had no idea. I had no idea. I was just trying to run 1835. Wow. I'm as surprised as anybody. Oh my god. I had no idea. I didn't think I could I didn't think I was physically capable of that. That was awesome. Thank you, Michael. Thank you for being there. Congratulations to you, Michael. <laughs> and thank you, everybody who's followed along with this. I'm just blown away. Sorry, I don't. I don't mean to. I don't mean to gloat. I don't, I'm not trying to come across that way, but I literally had no idea I could do that. I. I, just, I can't. What can I say? Good job. Get healthy. Stay strong. Keep pushing, people. You can do it. Peace out. Hello, everybody. The big day has come and gone. You've seen the videos. You know the results. And we're here to do a little talking about it before we let this whole series go. So uh, thank you for stopping by yet again. Uh, we really love everybody out there who's supported us through this whole process. Thank you so much. Thank you for your comments, your encouragement, your motivation. Um, obviously, uh, there is more to come. Uh, Michael and I are still working to figure out how we're going to format things. Um, but uh, the one thing I can say is uh, I think we're all we are all looking forward to uh, Michael's revenge. <laughs> um, I, I hope I get the uh, opportunity. I hope I get the privilege to be part of that video um, uh, presentation. Um, you know, uh, but uh, however it goes down, uh, you can be assured that I will uh, participate in any way I can in helping to encourage Michael to get where he wants to go. We all know it's coming. We all know it's a matter of just a little bit of time. Uh, but uh, Michael, let's just jump right in. And I want to get your feelings about how race day went. Uh, what are your positive takeaways? Uh, what do you think um, you're going to do as time goes on here to reach your goals? Uh, because, you know, as I said, I'm doubtless you are going to reach those goals. That's, you know, a given. But uh, yeah, let's uh, just give everybody your thoughts. Yeah, okay. So. Um... I mean, all in all, you know, I'm proud of the effort that I gave. Like, I, I laid it all out there, you know, it's everything I had. Yep. Um, you can take a look uh, at the race here on, on Strava. But, um, you know, I think officially it was the 21-25. Um, and it says I was 646 per mile. So, you know, I was about 20 seconds off moving, uh, per, per mile. Yeah. Um, but I think some solid takeaways were, you know, I was on pace for the first mile. Yep. Um, you know, I ran a 629 and then a 655, 659. 
That's solid, um, beautiful and, times. Yeah, and I did pull it back for the finish. You know, I paced 610, you know, the, the last little bit. Um, and here in the graph, you can sort of see where I fell off after that first mile. Yeah. And then you can also see, you know, where I pulled it back towards the end. But, um, you know, as far as the run goes itself, um, I mean, Strava says I had my best estimated two mile effort. So that was pretty strong. Um, I, I was encouraged because in the past, I don't think I've ever fully strung three miles together, sub seven. Yeah, yeah. Um, Dude, this was a great effort on your part. I think there's nothing for you here that isn't positive. Um, one thing that I was, uh, when we were discussing before we turned on the recording, that I, I just want to kind of reiterate here for all of the viewers is that, um, I don't think uh, there's anything in your training for the past seven weeks that led up to this race that wasn't well done. Um, I think the only thing that stood between you hitting your sub 20 goal yesterday was the sickness that you uh, went through about a month ago. Um, yeah. And the fact that you came, you bounced back so quickly from that. But I think the fact that there was two weeks there where you weren't able to push as hard as you needed to push, I think that's the only thing. I think if we uh, get the opportunity to rerun this time trial in, you know, whatever works for your schedule, whether it be a month from now or whatever works, yeah, dude, you're going to smoke that sub 20. I just know it. Yeah. You know, I, I, when I got sick, I did, I missed, um, the really the two peak weeks of my training as far as like building my aerobic capacity. So, you know, I missed a 14 miler and, you know, a 13 miler. And, and um, so as, as long of a run that I got in my training cycle was 12 miles. Um, so, you know, I could tell, like, I feel like my speed work was there. Yep. You know, my legs weren't feeling bad during the race. It was just my lung capacity, you know, like I, I was struggling to breathe. So like, you know, I knew right there, like I did the speed work to be there, but I just didn't have that, that aerobic capacity to, to push me yeah. forward. Yeah. Yeah. I'm with you. And, and one thing, um, when you, if you don't mind scrolling back down to that, that graph, um, yeah. one thing that was a takeaway that, um, you know, um, <clears throat> excuse me, viewers don't really have the benefit of uh, having uh, watched the entire real-time 5K because uh, one thing, uh, I guess they don't even know that, we filmed the, both of us, the entire race. Um, and there, there is a point right there, like right around after mile one is over, uh, where you took your pace down, mm -hmm. right there. Where yeah, you can see it voice right that here. to me. You, you, know, you actually, you actually say something to me um, that uh, that um, you're not going to be able to hold or something along those lines. Yeah, I so said I need some encouragement. I believe. <laughs> yeah, something along exactly, exactly. So, but one thing I really want to point out here, looking at this graph, that is so encouraging to me, is that once your pace came down, once you found that place where aerobically you were stable, mm -hmm. it wasn't like. You weren't constantly slowing down. You know what I mean? And yeah, like once you found that pace that you could handle, you were there, dude, and you held yeah. it really strong about holding it. So I think your assessment of of the aerobic capacity not quite been having been maxed out during the training due to the sickness, I think is exactly correct because um, if there was an issue with your muscles not being toned enough, not being ready, this graph would continue downwards throughout the race. So right. I, you're spot on. I think um, once you've had another, you know, whatever case may be, you know, just for the sake of it, say a month, once you've got that solid month of, of aerobically pushing yourself under your belt, that, that 1959 is going to, you're going to hit that no problem. Yeah. So great to see this. Uh, these numbers are really nice to see. Um, it bears out everything you said. I think you're exactly on the money with your training. And uh, 
Good for you. Uh, and thank you so much for, for, I mean, you know, just to say it, for participating in all of this. Um, <laughs> yeah. You know, I think so many people out there have learned from your experience and will continue to learn from your experience. And, um, you know, uh, we'll work out in the next few days, I'm sure, um, uh, how we're going to go forward and if we're going to even have a video series around it. But uh, yeah. just so that you know, Michael, um, my channel is your channel. If you want to do something, <laughs> you want to push it out there so that people can watch. I know they want to see it. I know they're desperately wanting to see it. You know, just yeah. take a look at the uh, take a look at the last few weeks of the the, the comments. Um, people are all over your training. They they want to know more. So um, yeah, I, I appreciate it. It's it's been really fun, and you know, I look forward to to continuing on. So we'll we'll see what we can come up with. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. I'm so glad to hear that because. Uh, you know, uh, your experience is the experience of every other runner out there, including me. So, um, you know, the, the more we can share, I think the more people benefit. So thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you. Yep. Okay, okay so here we are. This is my 5k time trial results on Strava. Um, my mind is blown by that number, just so everybody knows. <laughs> I can't believe that's reality. <laughs> so, oh, wow, you're right. Wow, 537. See, the, I guess the most amazing thing for me about this run is um, that number, because as I just, I only started doing track work in my life three weeks ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, because as a marathoner, you know, like as a distance runner, as an endurance runner, my focus for the last six years has really been marathons, you know. And, you know, I've only run, what, three, three half marathons in my life. It's, you know, and I guess the, the what makes that point relevant is the fact that as, since I concentrate, have concentrated mostly on the marathon, you don't really have to do speed work <laughs> as a marathoner. Like most of your speed work comes from like, you know, tempo runs on the road, uh, doing strides on the road, but you don't really run loops on a track as a marathon runner. Um, so as, as I introduced that for this 5K time trial effort, this was new to me. And um, every time I went to the track during the past you know, month, it would, they were always late afternoon runs when the heat and the humidity was prevalent. So like when I was hitting like, you know, mid eighties, all the way down to that one lap that I'll always remember running a 77. That was like, that took like massive effort in the heat and the humidity. So I thought that was like something I could only do for a quarter mile, you know? So when I was, when I hit the time trials yesterday, when it was like, you know, high forties uh, temperature wise, it was like a gift out of nowhere, <laughs> like to be able to hit those speeds and maintain them. Like literally when I was like in lap two or three of that time trial yesterday morning, and I was looking at my watch and looking at the speed I was maintaining and the fact that I was not dying, <laughs> I was like, what's going on here? <laughs> I was basically just like, riding along in my body going, I don't know when this is going to explode, but I'm just going to keep going <laughs> until it does. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I think it's awesome. I mean, look at that, um, you know, best estimated one mile effort, 532. I mean, how do you feel about that? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, I, I'm looking at this literally for the first time right now. So, wow. <laughs> you know, uh, this whole experience has just been a, a whole heck of a lot of fun for me. Um, I'm blown away by the fact that this happened. Um, you know, as I told you, Michael, off camera before we started this thing yesterday morning, um, I didn't think my muscles were up for it. I was fully, exp I was hoping, really, really hoping to beat my 1836 5K PR. And I was really hoping to run like an 1815. That was my hope. <laughs> yeah. And I well, thought I'd be working my butt off to do it. <laughs> You beat your 5K PR by over a minute here, so. Yeah, 63 seconds. It's just, you know, I'm happy. 
you know, I can't. Oh, that's just a little bit. Let's take a look at the graph, like we were taking a look at my fun. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Uh, so, wow, that's pretty cool. Seeing yeah. that for the first time. So you got faster all the way through, basically. Wow. I definitely yeah. felt like you were when I was riding on the bike. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, gotcha. Yeah, like your your final lap too. I, when I was riding on the bike there, man, I I just felt you pick it up. It was just so awesome. Suddenly I had yeah, to start actually, pedaling harder. I actually changed gears on the bike whenever you <laughs> whenever you kicked it in. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> cool. And by the way, everybody, just a funny little side note: the the bicycle um, Michael and I were riding um, when we got it out of the car, um, the brakes. We couldn't engage the brakes again, so we were riding no brakes. So <laughs> it was a little bit of a, a, a tricky and dangerous ride for the person doing the filming. So, <laughs> yeah. so uh, yeah, I mean, this is the graph. I don't understand those peaks and valleys at all. I don't see how that makes any sense. But Well, it's just, you know, I think like your speed fluctuation. Now, it's obviously not much, but, you know, you're fluctuating between, you know, 540 to 515 pace, 520. So, you know, right there. Oh, yeah, I guess it makes sense. It's probably thinking I'm speeding up when we go into the corners. It's probably yeah. just the way the satellite reads it. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. Okay. But you can clearly see after that, those first two laps, you, you know, I think you said that you were going to speed up. You, you, so you can clearly see that where. Yeah. Yeah. There's a point in the video um, where, um, after, I think it's coming as we we're, when I was running and you were on the bike, um, where you, you called out my current speed. And I think you said something to the effect of you're maintaining 9.6 miles an hour. And I was thinking, Ooh, that's bad news for me. I better pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> so I just kind of, I just thought to myself, if I blow up, I blow up, but I got to pick it up. So yeah. I did. And uh, luckily enough, I made it all the way to the finish line. So. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's exactly right where that that dip is. Like whenever you start picking it up, was right when I said that. Yeah, yeah. No, that was absolutely my cue for picking it up because I I was yeah. just running. I was just running blind and hoping. And uh, once I knew had some way to something to give me a bearing of, you know, this is what you're doing and it's not going to be good enough. I just decided, <laughs> okay, if I die, I die, but I'm going to go. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> so awesome. I'm going to uh, get us back on full screen here. Okay. So, I mean, that's the story. It was pretty much me just <laughs> running blind and hoping for the best. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, Michael, um, I'm, I'm glad that we decided to uh, do this sort of like post game wrap up here because. Um, you know, I didn't want to leave it, you know, the, I think the only, uh, we didn't capture any more film after we both finished our time trials and I, I did not want to leave it where, you know, you were kind of hunched over at that finish line um, <laughs> and, 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 and um, not having achieved your goal. It, it, that was too negative a picture for, for the effort that you put in. And um, especially since we know realistically, it's not like you're giving up and, and yeah. it's just a matter of another couple of weeks and you'll be there. So, um. yeah. And I mean, you know, like I said, immediately, I was like, you know, um, I was disappointed, but like I knew my fitness level and like, I, you know, I was still proud of the effort that I put in. So it wasn't like it was, you know, it wasn't a waste like I, at all. No, no, no. It's a great stepping stone. You know, yeah. I, I think you're, you're, you're right there and you're ready to launch. So. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, uh, uh, I don't want to put you on the spot and I'm in no uh, position right now to um, try to set dates or anything, but uh, everybody, I guess the final conclusion um, that we want to share with you is that uh, there is more to come. Um, Michael and I will get organized. We'll figure out what we're doing next when we're going to make our moves. Um, I just uh, want to take the opportunity more than anything uh, to thank Michael for his participation, his openness, um, because I know it's helping people out there. And uh, I want to thank everybody who's watched any one of these videos. I, I just, uh, I'm not going to get choked up or anything, but uh, um, 
your encouragement, your participation in, in our fitness journey is just uh, so deeply appreciated. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for everything. You have no idea how much it means to me and it's meant to Michael. So um, thank you everyone. Stay tuned for more. Um, we're not giving up. There, there are more PRs out there and we're gonna keep on pushing. So um, with that said, everybody, um, get healthy, stay strong, keep pushing. Peace out. Thank you all so much. Thank you.